I'll explain that. So what elevates status? By the way, did anybody else have a burning question? Because, well, let me tell you why they're saying that. And then we'll talk about that. I'm going to talk about what, what elevates status. A couple things do. The, the, uh, there, there are two or three things why they don't say that. Number one, they're lying. If you gave them the Mercedes, they'd go drive it. All right? The reason they'll say that is because I, I was going to buy a Hummer one time. And uh, I wanted one real bad. They were really hot. I ended up owning three of them. And a two at the same time. I had two Hummers, different colors ones. And a, a, one was for the weekdays, one of the weekends. And I was going to buy one, and I called my buddy Mark Lovell. And he said, man, did you get that Hummer yet? I don't want to drive it. I said, no, man, I didn't buy it. I think I'm just going to buy a, a Yukon or Suburban. They're exactly the same car, just on a different frame. And he said, yeah, that's what all the poor people say. That afternoon, I had a Hummer. Right? So the, the, point, the point is... A, they're lying, and they're not going to say they want it because if they say they want it, they're burdened by the desire. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they, their status, like what would they want? What would they want to drive? Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. I'll, let me hold on. Let me tell you why she didn't want it. I, let me predict. You have kids? Yeah. She a good mom? Yeah. She pride herself on being a good mom? Yeah. That's why she didn't want it. Her status is showing other women that she sacrifices for her children and her family. That's what her status button is. Right? That she's going to be more practical. She'd rather give this stuff to her kids. She'd rather give this stuff to her family. That's a big part of it. Part of it, like if a person wants to buy a Prius, right? They want to buy a Prius, they wouldn't buy a BMW, right? A lot of times their status is, I'm smarter. I'm smarter. I'm kinder. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but, you know, people that say that are usually... If across the board, somewhere, there's something that she does that's luxurious in one way or another. What is it? What she do that's, what is, shoes. Okay. So, yeah, shoes. So, shoes. So, yeah. I don't want to, you know, uh, Ryan Dice, Ryan's not in here right now, almost got in a fist fight with Tony Shea one time. You know who Tony Shea is? He owns Zappos. Because after he sold Zappos for a bazillion dollars, he, t I, Ryan probably wouldn't want me to tell this story. But, he goes to, to a party with Ryan and starts telling Ryan how, well, you guys should just give away all your information. Everything should be free and da 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 And this is bullshit that y'all selling this information for like $1,000 and people could like research and get themselves. Da -da -da -da. All your stuff is in it. And, dude, don't you sell $1,200 shoes? Why don't you just not do that? Sell sandals to everybody. Right? That'd be the right thing to do. You know, that's, people have different motivations and, and things that elevate their status in a different way. It just depends. Uh, but a lot of times, probably part of that, and it can be a mix of things. Part of it, I promise you, is probably, you know, she may not want to be seen, like, like my wife is uh, Asian, right? And she's younger than me. So she told me not long ago, she said, I don't think any of the ladies in the neighborhood are ever going to like me. Because they don't see me as a friend, they see me as the competition because they think about what might happen to them if they, you know, my husband might run out of a you know, whole different story. But so my wife will be careful about how she presents herself to other people because she doesn't want them to think about her in a, in a wrong way. Women are all screwed up. This doesn't count for women. Uh, you know, it, it, I'm just joking. They do. It does. Uh, so... Women love me. Can you tell? Uh, not. Uh, okay. So what elevates status? Physical appearance. The Kardashians, right? The, uh, the Magic Mike guy and all those guys. 
Physical appearance elevates status, no matter what you want to say about it. Taller, fitter, good-looking people have a higher status. Well, we, we at least think they do, right? They can be a person that's not very attractive, but they dress real well, and they wear a lot of makeup, and they do their hair real good, and they can still pull that off. It's the appearance of appearance, right? The appearance of attractive physical appearance. That is tripping me out every time it does it. Okay. All right. Um, the appearance of intelligence, right? And I, I put some of the people up here, I put some characters up here, like House from the show. He's a hero because he is really, really, really smart, right? But also... People, like I said, will buy a Prius because it makes them look smarter. They'll buy an eco-friendly house because it makes them look more compassionate, right? They'll, uh, uh, you know, they'll write a book to make them look smarter, you know? These are the things that elevate status. Uh, the appearance of style, Mac versus PC, says that I'm smarter I got a hyper sense of style. I'm cooler than you, right? Uh, the, by, the, by the way, the Mac versus PC commercials, I'm a Mac and I'm a PC, most successful ad campaign Mac ever ran, far and away. Because what was it saying? If you use a Mac, you're smart and cool. If you use a PC, you're old and dumb. Their market share went from like 6% to 22% within a 12-month period. Because their computer hardware... See, it was the Retina screen with the ABS49 processor that made that work, right? Have shit to do with it. If you're using a Mac, if you've got a glowing Apple on the front of your thing, you're smarter than the other guy. You're cooler than the other guy. Status, 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 right? Uh, the, appearance of, uh, the appearance of wealth. Uh, Gucci, branded goods. You go to Asia right now, this is so core to every living, breathing thing. I can't express it. If you go to Asia right now, you go to China, they've got pull, number pull things that you pull a number so that you can get into the line to get served and waited on at the Gucci stores in Shanghai and Beijing and Guangzhou. I go to China a lot. We were over there. Scott Madden was with us. We're in Thailand, even the, even the outside countries, Thailand, where the vast majority of the people are incredibly poor, in Bangkok, where the concentration of wealth is, they're fighting over Louis Vuitton bags. How many, is Clifford me in here? He must be out. It, I would say that in Bangkok, there are 50, there are probably 50 Louis Vuitton stores. There are probably 200 in, Hang in Hong Kong, 100 easy. Louis Vuitton, Gucci stores, just insane. Those people are just now coming into money, right? They want to show it off. They want the appearance of wealth. That's the reason when you do, you see infomercials that show Rolls Royces and stacks of money in big houses, you know, people are impressed by that. They supposedly elevate status. The appearance of power, the godfather right? Politicians. Uh, politicians have an elevated status in our minds. The appearance of sexiness, me and Magic Mike, right? Uh, the appearance of happiness. Ellen and Oprah made a living out of this. They appear to be happy. Therefore, people follow them, right? These are the things that we all aspire to. No matter who you are, pretty much, you aspire to one or more of those things. Does everybody agree with that? Anybody disagree with that? That you don't aspire to at least one of those things? Almost everybody does, right? Those are the things that you want that would elevate your status, right? 